In this video, we're going to talk about how to get your thyroid to work better. There's a lot of people that have thyroid problems and a lot of people are taking medication for it. But what about the actual underlying cause and what can we do to correct the function of that thyroid? And hopefully down the road, you'll need less medication and maybe you won't need any medication at all. So here's the thing you need to know. You have the pituitary, which is in the brain. It releases a hormone called thyroid stimulating hormone. The purpose of this hormone is to tell the thyroid to release T4 and T3, okay? T4 is the inactive thyroid hormone. T3 is the active thyroid hormone. So T4 actually converts to T3. We have like 23 times more T4 than we do T3. So this is kind of like the, the pre-hormone, it's like the reserve, then this actually does the work in all of the cells and it controls the speed of your metabolism, the digestion, your mood. So if you're cold, if you're losing your hair, if you're sluggish mentally and physically, um, and you have muscle weakness, uh, those are all real common symptoms of a slow thyroid. Now, check this out. This is on a feedback loop. So as soon as the thyroid stimulating hormone tells the thyroid to release T4, there's a, a negative feedback that comes up there and tells the pituitary, I have enough. So if you have low thyroid stimulating hormone, that means you have enough. I mean, you might have too much, but you have enough. You don't need more. On the other hand, if it's high, if this hormone is high, that means your body needs more of these hormones. So it's then going to increase to produce more of these hormones. Now there's really two main problems with a hypothyroid condition. Either you're not making enough thyroid hormone, usually T4, or you're not converting T4 to T3. So let's first talk about the conversion. In order to convert T4 to T3, you need co factors. You need helper vitamins and minerals. All these nutrients help contribute to this conversion. Selenium is on the top of the list. This is the most important, okay? Then you have iodine. Then you have vitamin D, vitamin A, zinc, B2, B6, B12, and iron. Now, if you're doing a healthy ketogenic diet and you're doing intermittent fasting, like I recommend in my book, you're eating foods that would give you these right here. Also, when you're doing healthy keto and intermittent fasting, the need for T3 goes way down. So it's going to overall help the thyroid, but these are the key nutrients that help this conversion. Now, as far as the production of more thyroid hormones, what's usually happening is something is suppressing the function of the thyroid and it's usually high cortisol that comes from stress. It could also be from medications like prednisone, cortisone shots, things like that. Also, estrogen is a big factor. This is why you see women right after pregnancy, for example, end up with a hypothyroid case because of the spike in estrogen. Now, if you're taking birth control pills or you're on HRT, that can inhibit the production. Also, high levels of insulin. If you're doing a high carb diet, if you have PCOS, for example, polycystic ovarian syndrome, that can inhibit T4. Now, I should have put this one over here because this has to do with more conversions. 80% of the conversion from T4 to T3 happens in the liver, 20% happens in the kidney. And if there's a problem with the liver, if there's a problem with the gallbladder, if you had your gallbladder removed, what will happen is you're not gonna get the conversion. So a real simple solution is to take purified bile salts. That will instantly improve the conversion. Now on the flip side, if you have a hyperthyroid condition, hyper, too much thyroid hormone, you don't wanna take bile salts because that's gonna give you more and it's gonna worsen the situation. Only if you have a hypothyroid condition. And for those of you that are new, if you're on the keto plan, the healthy keto plan and intermittent fasting, the need for T3 will go down and this alone will greatly improve the thyroid function. And you may even find that you need to make some adjustments to your medication because um, it's going to start improving. Other things that can interfere with thyroid function, antacids, 
high blood pressure medications, statins, diuretics, antibiotics, excessive iron. So an iron deficiency will cr create a problem in the conversion, but too much iron can also create a problem with the conversion from T4 to T3. Then you have phytic acid, which is in grains. It's in the bran of grains. That will deplete your zinc and that will throw off your conversions. Coffee and tea will deplete you of certain nutrients like the B vitamins. Um, and so I just wanna bring that to your attention. If you have a lot of iced tea, for example, or a lot of coffee, you better be taking nutrients at the same time because it could affect the thyroid. And of course, the reason why keto works is because it's low carb. So that means too much sugar or refined carbs are definitely gonna mess up your thyroid. Soy will act as an estrogen and inhibit the thyroid as well. And also because dairy has so many different types of hormones that can influence the thyroid. Now, if you have an autoimmune condition, Hashimoto's, and I'm gonna put a link down below because I did a video on this specifically, but you need vitamin D, okay? Like at least 20,000 IUs per day. You need to be doing intermittent fasting and you need to be taking selenium to improve the function of the thyroid. And this is mainly gonna be for Hashimoto's, but Hashimoto's is the majority of hypothyroid cases. All right, thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.